Hi. So today I'm going to go through my six month results. Uh, it's been six months now since I've been taking nicotinamide mononucleotide as a daily supplement. Um, I will also cover what the future uh, has in store with regard to my regime, where I'm going to up it to one gram a day and introduce two other elements as well. Um, so stick around and we'll go through my six month NMN experiment result. Hi, welcome back. So today I'm going to cover my six month uh, results from taking nicotinamide mononucleotide as a daily supplement. Uh, I've got results from the My Wellness machine at the gym. Um, in an effort to get a more accurate uh, record of the uh, experiment, I've also taken a blood test. Uh, I'll cover those results because they'll be my baseline um, results. Uh, in a separate video because so I think if I cover those and I cover everything that's on this in one video the video is probably going to be too long. Uh, so without further ado let's jump into my um, my six month results. So weight in April was 92 kilos, two months later it was 92.4 uh, and as of the six month point it's been 94 kilos so since I started six months ago I've gained two kilos in weight. My BMI, for those who are interested, uh, I'm not, I don't think BMI is a, a very good indicator of anything really. Started at 30, went to 30.1 and is now 30.7. But my percentage of muscle mass um, started at 23%, stayed at 23%. Um, and I wasn't sure what the, the percentage marker was on that, how accurate it was. Uh, this time it's 22.9, so I've lost uh, one percentage or one element of a percentage point in um, in fat mass. My my muscle mass went from 53.1 to 67.6, which was quite a large increase, uh, and it's gone up again. Now it's 68.9. So um, that's one of the things that David Sinclair mentioned in his study with mice, that was muscle wastage, which is a natural element of the aging process, was slowed down. Um, mine is slowing down. Actually, it's going the other way in that my muscle mass is increasing. But I think there's a reason for that, and I'll cover that later on when I talk about exercise, uh, gym statistics, etc. My basal metabolic rate, so that's the rate at which I burn carbohydrates when I'm resting, went from 20... Uh, 81, so 2081. It went down to 2069. That's now gone up to 21,012. Sorry, that's gone up to 2,112. So 2112. Uh, blood pressure. I'm going to cover my blood pressure statistics in the blood work video that I'll do uh, when I cover the, the baseline for my blood that I had done a couple of days ago. Waist, so this is one that I wanted to see a marked difference in. Started off at 39 inches around my waist, my belly button, as opposed to my hips, six months ago. Two months later, it was still 39. Um, six months later, it's gone down, and it's gone down by two inches. So my waist around my belly button is now 37 inches. So that's a, that's a welcome change. My metabolic age started at 43. Remember, I'm 55. Uh, there was con some concern at the last um, result stage, which was only after two months. I'd gone from 43 to 45. Uh, this time, I've just stayed at 45. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate this is compared to the DNA testing that, that can be done. Um, but to be 10 years under my actual uh, calendar age is, is, um, is a welcome a welcome score. Visceral fat, which is one of the ones that we really would like to, to get down because that's a, a danger marker for people um, in, in uh, middle to late age, was 12, was 12 two months later, uh, and it is still 12. And again, I don't know what percentage those will move up and down by. Have I got to wait until it gets to 11 or goes up to 13 for it actually to be 
uh, indicated on the machine. Uh, I have asked the, the physical training instructors and they're not, they don't know. So the dosage, um, up until today I was taking 500 milligrams, so half a gram. As of today, because it's the, the 1st of um, November, 1st of November, uh, I'll be taking one gram of NMN. Uh, still taking it sublingually under the tongue. Not because I believe that's a better way to um, administer it, because in one of the videos I talked about uh, David Sinclair saying that nobody knows which is the best way to take it, and we won't know until the results of the human trials um, come in. Uh, it's purely so that I can take it and leave the house and allow it to dissolve um, when I'm driving to work, as opposed to mixing it into something and having to then either swallow or ingest that before I can leave for work. So it's really a, a time-saving mechanism. Um, so that will go up to one gram per day. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to take it one gram straight away or I'll take 50 in the morning and 50, uh, sorry, 500 in the morning and 500 in the afternoon. Um, I'll see how it goes. I'm also going to up my dosing regime to one gram of resveratrol, which I will take um, orally. So when I take my vitamin tablet in the morning, I'll also take uh, one gram of resveratrol. Uh, as well as that, I'm going to start taking one gram of um, TMG. Um, people have spoken about um, TMG's, uh, sorry, uh, methyl groups being excreted through the urine, urine, um, and also because of that, there could be a change in temperament or mood. I haven't seen that, but because I am going up to one gram of NMN a day, uh, as a safety um, factor, I'm going to start taking one gram of TMG. Anyone that's got any comments, advice, suggestions, please uh, leave them in the comments below because I'd be very interested. There's not really a lot of hard evidence, scientific studies, talking about taking niacin and... Um, uh, NMN, uh, NR, and losing methyl groups. Mood, much the same. Um, I lose my temper with my son because he's eight, and he's good at being eight. Um, I don't think any more, any less than I used to before I started to take NMN. Uh, at work, where my son is not around, praise the Lord, um, my mood has, made, has, has remained much the same, and there are people at work that test my patients on a daily basis, but um, no change in mood there. Overall feeling has been much the same. Um, no mood changes, uh, no more extra energy or lessened energy. Um, however, my son, when he's not purposely trying to run me up the wall, uh, did say, you don't make noises anymore. And I was curious as to what he meant by, you don't make noises anymore. And what he was talking about was that before, when I was sat in a chair or laid on the, on the floor and I would stand up, I would groan. I would make those noises that older people tend to do when they get up, like, oh, ah, oh, that's better. Those kind of, I don't do that anymore. Um, and it's something I started to do and I was noticed I started doing in my 40s. And it's, it's completely stopped. So maybe that's an indicator that as well as um, feeling younger, I'm actually acting younger as well. Um, sleep. The first night I started to take 500 milligrams, so I went from 250 to 500. The first night I went to bed at the normal time, 10 o'clock, I was awake at um, 350 and couldn't go back to sleep. Uh, on the second night, I woke at 4.30. On the third night, it was five past five. From the fourth night of going up from 250 to 500, I was fine, and I, and I, didn't, um, I didn't wake at the, any earlier. I, I, I woke up either just before or with the alarm at six o'clock. Uh, I have bought a fitness tracker, which I'm using to track my heart rate and steps for the day and also my sleep regime. Um, I thought I was going to bed at 10 and falling asleep by maybe 11 and waking up at 5. Uh, this gives a much more accurate reading of how long I sleep and also how many times I wake during the night. 
what my deep sleep is, which is also very important because that's when a lot of the, um, the regeneration goes on. Uh, I'm not going to include that in the stats, um, but if I do see uh, any improvements, um, then I will, I will mention them. Um, what I've also noticed is that I can't sleep in the afternoon. So before, usually after I've been to the gym, but on a gym, on a gym day or on a long working day, I would come back, have a coffee, lie on the sofa, and sometimes I'd, I'd feel the need for a nap, and I'd sleep for 10, 15 minutes, maybe half an hour, uh, and it was, it was nice, I enjoyed it, I can't do it, I can't do it anymore, I come back, even after probably the hardest session I've had at the gym, <clears throat> uh, and I'll lay on the sofa, start to watch TV, and I, I just don't fall asleep anymore, so um, I don't know if that's because of an increased energy level, but um, no more nice afternoon naps for me. Diarrhea, zero. Um, I think I might stop recording that unless I'm mentioning it, unless it starts, um, but no changes there either way. Eating and drinking. Uh, remember when I first started to take it um, for the first couple of months, there was an increase in my um, hunger and I ended up eating a lot more than I normally would and sometimes eating beyond eight o'clock at night where I normally stop eating at eight and I fast until midday the next day, uh, no changes. So when I went from 250 to 500, no increased appetite, I'm still eating much the same diet as I was before. Injuries, you'll remember that in June, on the 9th of June, I had an injury with tennis elbow, which I'd had before, I think four or five years ago. Uh, and from what I remember, it took four or five months to heal the last time. Um, in July, so it happened in June, that's when I noticed it. In July, it was getting better, but it was still painful. It was still restricting the amount of exercise I could do. Um, by the 24th of August, I noticed that it had completely gone. Uh, and now both, both elbows are exactly the same. It may be it took longer last time because it wasn't um, as serious an injury. Uh, I don't know. I don't think I can attribute that to taking um, NMN. Gym performance. Now, this is interesting. <clears throat> I have found my normal weightlifting regime is that I'll do one warm-up set and a very light set of weights. Then I will do three heavy sets, and I will try to go to failure between the four and the six repetition. <clears throat> what I'm finding now is that for me to go to failure between four and six, I'm having to add on extra weight without trying to, without having to increase my energy or my um, my effort, if you like. Uh, on the bench press machine or on the free weights, I've added about 10 to 15 kilos. I'm still exerting what I believe is the same amount of energy, but to to stop exercising between the four and the six. I've had, to add, I've had to add 10 kilos. Um, I haven't been lifting this amount of weight for probably five, four, five years or even more. So there's been an increase in my um, ability to lift heavy weights without having to increase my effort, which I think is quite interesting. <clears throat> that may be the reason um, that my muscle mass has increased. Um, it'll be interesting to see that, how this goes when I up my result, uh, my, up my dosage to, um, to one gram a day. And also the resveratrol, because David Sinclair says that the resveratrol is like an accelerator, so it, it may even increase my performance um, more. We'll, we'll wait and see. So that's it for today. Again, pause the video, go back, look at the stats. If you've got any questions, please ask them. I will do my best to uh, to answer them. <clears throat> I will definitely answer them, and I will do my best to give you as good an answer as possible. Uh, what I do like about the, the comment section is that where I answer some questions as well as I can, there are lots of people that have a lot more information, experience, and knowledge about the subject, and they also help as well. So, so the community feeling, I think, is, I think is fantastic, and, and I'd like that to continue. Um, Everyone that watches it learns, but I'm learning a massive amount, so it's really, really good. Thank you very much for that. So that's it for now. Um, I'm going to do another video on NMN. So I've done two on um, the reasons you should take it. I'm going to do one vi video not on the reasons you shouldn't take it, but things you should really consider 
before you start taking it because as Debbie Slim Kerr says, um, with regard to NMN and humans, we still don't know. We're all still guessing. Um, I think his is an educated guess because he's obviously far more involved in the in the process. Uh, but until the human trials, which I believe have been conducted in Japan, until those results are out and other results are out, and the more the better, as, as Sinclair says, then we're all still guessing. Um, so that's it for now. I'll do a video in the next week or so on my blood statistics. Um, and with regard to the gym statistics, uh, my uh, intake of NMN to one gram a day, one gram of resveratrol and one gram of TMG. And I'll see you in probably three to six months um, to go through the results. If I see a marked difference before that, then I'll make a video and, and explain what I've seen because I am checking my stats at the gym every month, but only really reporting them at the end of every two or three months. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, please leave some comments below uh, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.